hey, where are you from? Outside Chicago. Did you do youth group or BBYO? Did you go to summer camp overnight at JCC? I think I know your cousin. How many Goldbergs can there be with the first name Joe? Let's find someone we both know. Anytime we meet someone, we always play Jewish geography, Jewish geography. What do you say? Jewish geography, Jewish geography. It's time to play. Welcome, 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 welcome. We are so excited to be back for this very special Wednesday night episode of Who Knows One. I am Micah Hart. I am the host of this here shindig. And boy, have we got a show for you tonight. Tonight is a very special night. How special How is it? <laughs> <laughs> so I debated about whether I was going to tell you I was going to say that, or if I was just going to see if you could uh, take, the, take the hint. Uh, I was ready. We'll I was fix ready. It. We'll fix it in post. We'll fix it in post. Let's see. It, it let's see if I am. Let's see. Okay. Tonight is a very special night. How special is it? Uh, she did better than me. It's uh, so special you need to get in gallery view. Okay. Again, I was in gallery view. I don't know why it changes. Uh, tonight is a very special episode because Rabbi Adam Rosenwasser, who has won five straight games on Wednesdays, uh, as we've mentioned, we are building this thing as we go. We have decided that when someone wins five straight games, they get a chance to become one of our Hebrew Helper Super Connectors. So tonight, Adam Rosenwasser will be taking on two of our Super Connectors, Sarah Beth Berman and Melissa zalkin Stolman. And if he wins, he will ascend to the title of Super Connector. It's very prestigious. Uh, and if you live in a jacket, we'll, we'll work Ooh. on a jacket. We'll work on a jacket or something. Uh, but either way, uh, this is his send off game um, because he has won five straight and that is very impressive. Uh, so it's going to be very, uh, very interesting tonight. Some heavy hitters. Uh, a reminder if you want to support the show, if you want to get some merch, if you want to have us do a game for you, if you want to see special episodes. We're actually working on a very special episode right now that will only How be How special available. is it? Oh, sorry. Are we right now? <laughs> well done. Just testing you. Uh, we are working on a special episode, and uh, that will be available only on Patreon. So if you want to support the show on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash who knows one. That's spelled out who knows one. Um, and check that out. Uh, also, if you want to be a chosen one, because we can always continue to add to those, uh, or a contestant, you can go to our website and sign up there. That's at who knows one.com and that's who knows the number one.com. And Hannah will put all that in the comments. We had a amazing time with Camp Newman this past Sunday night. We raised over $12,500 for the camp and had such a good time. Uh, that's the high water mark uh, for camp so far for any of the private fundraiser games we've done. So congrats to the Newman community. Uh, it was really fun. If you would like for us to do that kind of event for fun or for fundraising, hit us up on Facebook Messenger or you can email us at info at who knows one. <laughs> um, uh, this Sunday, we are doing a special game between uh, Schechter Boston and the LaFell School in New York. Uh, so that should be pretty fun. Um, check that out on the Schechter Boston Facebook page starting at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. All right. Hannah, and Will, Leah, how are you guys doing? Me, you know, living. Um, we're pretty we're, good. We're good. Mike, I'm still enjoying this nice bottle of Cabernet that you uh, forgot over here. Well, you know, we're trying to you shouldn't have. Well, y'all are on vacation. It's different for you. That's true. We are at the beach. That's right. And we are at the beach. Uh, watch this. 
Nope. <laughs> uh, I don't think we've done a show since we got to the beach, have we? I can't we remember. Have not. We have no, not. I've, yes, I've done many. Uh, that sounded pretentious. I didn't mean it that way. I just <laughs> moved um, Yeah, no, this is our first collective show uh, since we got here, and uh, it's been a nice few days. I'm not normally it's a beach person, but it's fun to watch my kids enjoy the beach and be like, how did that happen? <laughs> Whose kids are these? Although it was very funny because the first day that we went out to the beach, your oldest was not happy about going out to the beach. And it just threw me all the way back to our childhood when Micah never wanted to go to the beach. <laughs> never, never, never. It's, it's funny because it's not like I had another option in mind. Like, oh, can we go do this? I just didn't want to go to the beach. Uh, but I would sit inside and watch HBO all day, uh, and I was happy. So, you know, it was good. Um, all right, let's bring in our contestants tonight, as well as our Hebrew Helper Super Connector. Hmm? All essentials. Hello, everybody. Kelly. Hey. Wow. Uh, let's first meet our defending champion, Rabbi Adam Rosenwasser. Good to be back. Adam is back. He's won five straight weeks. Last week was the closest. It went to a tie break. Uh, did you, was there any doubt in your mind that you'd pull it out in the there or had you been steeled by the competition thus far that not to panic? No doubt whatsoever. Perfect. I got a lucky break, man. It was, it was a lot of fun. And uh, I got close to finding, you know, the, the chosen one in, in my segment, but just kind of ran out of time there and, you know. That is true. You were the only contestant who really, you know, got there basically. You were within basically. a degree of separation. They just didn't have the phone number. Um, but, well, I uh, found out later that they did, but it just took <laughs> a lot. It just makes it better. Right? Yeah, you know, uh, parents, what are you yeah. gonna do? Parents. Um, Adam, you've won, you've won quick times you've won in tie breaks you've won yeah. from first position from second position from third position you've really you've added you've uh at, what's the word i'm looking for acquitted yourself you've acquitted yourself very nicely on the show uh you. but tonight you are gonna have the real gauntlet thrown at you because two of our super connectors are here to take you on uh one of them is making her first appearance as a contestant on the show. Rabbi Melissa zalkin Stolman, MZS, how are you doing? I am good. I'm excited. We're all uh, excited. No one goes to bed around here. Now, it seems like you were going back and forth today as to whether or not you were going to wing it or you were going to develop some sort of spreadsheet or organized fashion. Where did you end up on that? Well, I did not have time to make a spreadsheet, nor I, the advice I got from the people was not to make a spreadsheet, but I wasn't comfortable totally winging it. So I came up with a system. I am not going to show everyone now. Later, I might post a picture, but I needed some way that when I was under time pressure, I could like remember people off the top of my head. So um, it's not a pretty system. It is a very scribbled Melissa system, though. We'll see if it works or not. Ellie, you are, you subscribe to the spreadsheet, if I remember. I do, but just in life, just in general. Yeah. Um, well, we're happy to have you, Melissa. You are uh, you live in Parkland, Florida, with your husband and your three kids. Who's this guy who's still with us right now? Uh, that's Amari. Uh, I'm nine at our school today. You have school tomorrow. Nice. <laughs> I, I also had school today. Well, yeah, we just went back to school. It's very exciting down here in Florida, where the pandemic's so over, evidently. Good. A little, uh, little extra credit tonight with some Jewish geography. That's good. Yeah, there you go. You're studying up. Uh, and last but not least, our third contestant tonight. She has been on the show before uh, as a contestant and many times as a helper. SVB, Sarah Beth Berman. Sarah Beth, how are you doing? Um, everything is awesome. I, uh, am I competitor shirt didn't come on time so this is one of my favorite sports so I'm wearing my sports shirt um, and uh, I started a new job yesterday and my child maybe is getting teeth soon so she keeps on waking up so all of this should be great <laughs> uh, now Sarah Beth was 
in a very uh, tough, uh, tough contested round the last time she was here, but she she did lose two to zero. So are you looking for any kind of like vengeance or retribution tonight? What's your what's your mental status going into this? So um, I was fortunate enough to attend the naming of Jar's new child today. So I'm going to win it for Jar who beat me twice um, because he's a brand new dad. That's right. Congratulations, Jar. We're here at the beach with his uh, stepbrother and their family. So they also were on. We, heard, we, we heard about we heard how the, lovely it was. Yeah. Mazel tov, Jar. Yeah. And, and great name, uh, at least what they're planning to call. Um, all right. And let's, uh, of course, meet our super connector, who we have seen before, but we are so happy to have her back. Ellie Klein Goldman, much like Hebrew Helpers specializes in matching families with the perfect mentor for personalized Jewish learning including bar bar mitzvah preparation all over the country. Ellie is here to help you tonight. Ellie, you've been in this seat before now as the super connector. What's your advice to the contestants about how to strategize whether to use you or not? Oh gosh. Um, I think if you are feeling the pressure of hundreds of people watching you on Facebook Live with nothing else to do in COVID, why not pull the trigger? That's what I'm thinking. Good advice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's all about the entertainment, right? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, what are we doing here? No, I'm just kidding. What are we doing? Uh, all right. This is, uh, as always, Wednesday night rules typically apply. This is a timed race. Each contestant will have 20 minutes to find the chosen one. If at 20 minutes they have not found them yet, they will have an additional five minutes where they can pull their resources with everyone they have brought into the call to that point and make one more outreach if they have not found, I don't even know why I'm saying this, we're not gonna get to 20 minutes. So I'm not even worried about that. Uh, normal Wednesday rules would say, if somebody sets a time, then the second person that goes uh, can also set a time. But since this is a special episode and our super connectors are not going to come back next week as competitors, if somebody sets a time tonight, you have to beat that time or your turn is over. So this could go quickly. Uh, we will have to see. Um, you will get two clues to start, name and age, and then you will choose three additional clues from our menu of options, a reminder that some of those categories do not have a clue associated with them. Uh, if someone has been brought into the Zoom tonight, they will not be available for the other competitors uh, thereafter, which doesn't always come into play, but I feel like could happen tonight. Um, you will get, of course, three lifelines. If you win the Super Connector, you will have to use them as one of your three lifelines, and you will have to wait nine minutes to bring them in, so you'll have to take that into consideration. Wait, we will have to use them? You will not have to use them. If you want to use them, you will have to wait. You do. Of course. That's right. You do want to use them. Um, all right. Before we get started, again, we want to keep everybody honest. The stakes are high tonight. A lot riding on this. So if you are watching at home, if you are on the Zoom, please raise your right hand and repeat after me the who knows one oath. I state your name. I state your name. Your name. Being of sound mind and possessing common decency. Being of sound mind and possessing common decency. Do hereby swear to protect the sanctity of the competition. Do hereby swear to protect the sanctity of the competition. That I will not Google or Facebook stalk the chosen one. That you will not Google or Facebook stalk the chosen one. Or send contestants any unsolicited text messages. Yeah, don't text me. Don't text contestants. Don't text the messages. Under penalty of getting kicked off the Zoom call. Under penalty of getting kicked off the Zoom call. Or being politely asked not to. Or being politely asked not to. If you agree to this, please say I do. If you agree to this, please say I do. I do. All right, we are gonna move on with our favorite appetizer game, a little something Ooh. we call, hey, did you know this person? Added this. 
I am going to give you information as to the identity of a famous Jewish person. Lenny Kravitz. The first of you to correctly guess this person uh, will get access to Ellie as part of their arsenal tonight. You can yell out answers as soon as you want and as often as you like. The first person to correctly get this will win. Uh, okay. Hey. Do you know this person? <laughs> this person identifies as male. And they were born... Ben Platt. August 1st, 1626. Bruce uh, Noza. Uh, Rashi? In the Ottoman... Um, um, in the what? what? In the what? In the Ottoman city of Smyrna. Nachman of Bratislav. Mm. His father, oh, Mordecai, <laughs> the poultry the dealer. Maimonides. I said Maimonides. I said Rambam. He doesn't know that. Joseph Caro. He went to yeshiva, Who did but it? was less interested in the Talmud Ganyon. than the books of the Kabbalah. Oh, um, what's his name? He moved to Constantinople oh. in 1658. Kabbalah. What's his name? Lurie. Lurie. Isaac Lurie. Yeah. He lived in Cairo from 1660 to 1662, during which like time he married his rabbi. wife. The person who wrote Lechado D. Yeah, right? <laughs> this is amazing. He Ari, went back to Constantinople Ari. in 1666. Where he was none of our history arrested <laughs> and what? prison in Abydos. <laughs> Natan Sharant, just kidding. <laughs> uh, on September 15th, 1666. Where do you get this intel? Ah, uh, I'm smart. He wasn't a rabbi. Rabbi. Can you go grab one of my rabbi books? <laughs> he was summoned from prison <laughs> to appear before Sultan Mehmed the Fourth, who gave him three choices. Convert to Islam. Oh, the Kaiser guy. Uh, be impaled or have arrows fired at him to prove whether he was in yeah. fact the Messiah he claimed to be. Oh, um, was this Shad Tai Tzvi? Shad Tai is correct. That's impressive. Suck it. Also, Eddie, don't text me. It's your first time watching. You're not allowed to give me answers. He was wrong, by the way. Shad Tai is MVS, correct. MVS, I think we're losing our Suck it, rabbis. Jewish educators. Boom, That's Ellie. Can't wait to hang out. Thanks, that did bit. not go well for HUC. I just want no, to say that, that did not go well for HUC. <laughs> I'm a proud graduate of the <laughs> Theological Seminary. Someone said, said, uh, said HUC <laughs> is not sponsoring this show. That's right. <laughs> I'm related to someone oh, whose yeah. name you is. You know what? How well we do is not a reflection on your education, it's a reflection on just Adam and myself and <laughs> how <laughs> little we paid attention in our history class. Well, we were to have rooted together at some point. Okay, Micah, that was the best how you know this well person I... ever. What's that? So good. It was like super nerdy, perfect for the us. I don't know if people who are watching care as much, but like this is hilarious. That's what I was going for. So I'm, I'm so happy right now. I'm glad you like it. I don't know if the audience did, but I liked it. And that's really in the moment all I care about. All right. Yeah, they like it? So, Anna, Sarah Berman, Ellie Goldman will be... Yours, if you should choose to use her tonight, you're going third. Uh, so that could end up being helpful because who knows what's gonna happen in the first two rounds. Um, all right, our order tonight, Adam has chosen to go first as a returning okay. champion and strategically to potentially okay. take people off the board. Chef. Melissa will go second, Sarah Beth will go third. And we wish all of you the best of luck. We're gonna go ahead and move Sarah Beth and Melissa into the breakout room with Leia. Uh, if I have done that correctly. I can do it. Let's see. Um, you. you should already be able to go there. And uh, Ellie, hopefully we'll see you in a little bit. All right, Adam, uh, All right. before we get to you, you uh, we do want to acknowledge Hebrew Helpers, because this is such a super connectory show tonight, uh, is actually our title sponsor for tonight as well. Um, and so we are very happy to have them. We mentioned them uh, a moment ago, but uh, again, if you are looking for personalized Jewish education, especially if you have a bar bat mitzvah potential student coming up, they can connect you with all, no matter what background or affiliation you are, a mentor who can help you with your preparation or any other Jewish studies. 
Go to HebrewHelpers.com for more information. And uh, yeah, check them out. All right, Adam, are you ready? Hang on, Sarah Beth appears to be in the waiting room. Let me get her to the breakout room. There's a question. Are we gonna go initials, Adam? When you when you when you join the ranks, I, I you know I like your confidence. Are we gonna are we gonna reveal what that middle initial is and maybe? No, uh, I, I I can't be contained by three letters. All right. Well, we'll um, Leia says no one's in the green room. I know. We'll we'll figure it out after we get going. Um, okay. Uh, your cho oh right. All right. Let me let me re let me. I get my clues. Okay. Uh, Will is going to put in the chat the categories you may choose from. Uh, oh, sorry. One, um, MZS just texted me that she got moved to the waiting room. Can you put the, her in a break? Yeah, I'm just going to admit, admit, admit. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Oh, hello. Wait. Welcome back. And then now we got. Now guys, I won. It only took right. me 10 seconds. That's right. Go to Adam the break room. Go to the green room. <laughs> Melissa <laughs> and I were both in the waiting won. room. Let me tell you who's not winning at Zoom. That'd be, that'd be Hannah, Will, and Micah. That's all right. All right. You should be able to click on the breakout room and go to the green room. It should have invited you. Okay. I'll try. I do. But if I'm in the waiting room again, get me. Some, one of these. Oh, there we go. All right. Sarah Beth made it. No pressure, Melissa. All right. And Ellie, we're going to move you back to the waiting room. Okay. Let's try this again. Adam, yeah. your categories are where this person grew up, where they live now, where they went to camp, what they do for a living, high school, college, grad school, those are all separate categories, the names of their immediate family members, Koa Kavod, the temple they grew up at, and the temple they go to now. And again, remember, not every category necessarily has an answer. Correct. Which categories would you like to start with? I would like to start with where they live now, where they go to synagogue now, they better, and uh, where they grew up. Where they grew up. Yep. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Here we go. Your chosen one identifies as female, and her yeah. name is Emily Fuller. I know her, just kidding. She is 32 years old. Uh -huh. She grew up in St. Louis, Missouri. She okay. currently lives in Columbia, Missouri. And she Missouri. currently goes to temple at congregation Beth Shalom. And your time begins now. Okay. Oh. Grew up in St. Louis, Columbia, Beth Shalom. Ooh, this is not a great one. I'm gonna try to bring in Amy Asen, who works for the URJ. To where? Zura. And now, is your strategy specifically you want to bring in people that you think the other competitors would use, or you're just going? Uh, yes and no. I'm just kind of going crazy okay. a little here because I don't have a lot of connections to Missouri, even though I had a job interview there once. I could try. Let's let's reach out to them. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a good idea. We had a uh, we had a great time on the on the Newman game on Sunday. Uh, someone came in uh, that got brought in, and this is always what you love when people get brought in. They're like, "Oh, the only person I know from there is my ex," and so then we Are all immediately were like, "Call them!" <laughs> all right, we have Amy Asen. You said bring her in. Yeah. Right. Yeah, bring her in. Well, I don't know. Hey, Amy. Hi, Amy. Welcome to Who Knows One. This is a game show. We are live on Facebook. You are on Team Adam. We are trying to locate someone and get them onto this Zoom call. If you can help them out, we would appreciate it. No Googling or Facebook stalking allowed. Go ahead, Adam. Okay. Good to see you, Amy. Uh, we're looking hey, for Adam. Emily Fuller. She's 32. She grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, and she is now in Columbia, Missouri, and goes to Beth Shalom in Columbia, Missouri. Do you know Beth Shalom in Columbia, Missouri? Because I don't. Or anyone no, else? No, but I know someone who will know Beth Shalom in Columbia, okay. Missouri. Can you bring him on? I will bring him on. Bring him on. I don't know my Missouri Please people. Please do not share anything about the person in uh, your outreach. 
Yeah, just thank you. I will not. Thank you. And Adam, you've got yep. two more people if you want to. Yeah, I know. Is anyone party. else in the waiting room? Hold on, just, just Ellie, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, she ain't on Bring her in if she works in St. Louis like, faster. Yes, Your Majesty. Come on, people. Where are all my friends? Do, 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 do. Speaking of like uh, returning champions and whatnot, I heard someone on Twitter, I heard, I saw someone on Twitter saying that they think Ken Jennings is going to take over hosting duties of Jeopardy uh, when Alex Trebek leaves, nice. uh, which hopefully is not anytime soon for what it's worth. But uh, that's a good choice. Uh, we have Rebecca Robbins. Bring her in. All right. Hello. Hello, Rebecca. Welcome to Who Knows One. I think we've seen you on here before, I believe. Uh, but uh, you are on Team Adam. So I'm going to turn you over to Adam. He's going to tell you who we're looking for. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Sierra. We're looking for Emily Fuller. Fuller. She's 32. She grew up in St. Louis. She's now in Columbia, Missouri and goes to Beth Shalom. Do you and know? And here's another clue. She went to high school at Pattonville High School. She went to high school at Pattonville High School. Do we do okay. Missourians, St. Louis people, Columbia, Beth Shalom? Missouri. I, I, to be honest, I don't exactly know where Columbia, Missouri is, but I, I do know yeah. a couple of people in St. Louis. Okay. So how about we start with reaching out to them? Sounds good. Am I allowed to bring in people who aren't Jewish onto this call? You are, absolutely. absolutely. All right, I have a friend in Missouri. Whatever it takes to get there. Okay. That's and I can, I can think of other people, right? I don't know. That's correct. We have a Dr. Neufeld. Yes. She's that's my third. Okay. Yes. Yeah, bring her in. Okay. All right. Hey. Hello. Hi, Dr. Newfell. Hey. Welcome to Who Knows One. This is a game show. We are trying to locate somebody and get them onto this Zoom call. You are on Team Adam. He's gonna tell you we're looking for no Googling or Facebook stalking allowed. Go ahead, Adam. And actually, right before you oh. do that, Adam, Joel Sweetlove and nope. Abe Newton. No, can't let him in. I've had my three now. Okay, so those are not, those are all from you. Okay, are, so yeah. go ahead. So, all right, Adam, Jennifer. I've been watching and I don't know her, but I know someone to connect. So Great. I'm going to copy it. the link and send okay. it. And oh, I'll hey, Jen. Thank you. They all know, you know each other, yeah? What's up? Correct. Hey. <laughs> have, Amy, Rebecca, Nice to see you, neighbor. <laughs> Text it's, everyone we live next door to each other, Adam. This is Thank so you. exciting. Not Amy. She lives far away. I know. She lives far away. Just text okay. everyone in Missouri. How do you copy a Zoom link? Wait, I'm going to get Zarek because Missouri was part of his FEMA region. Wouldn't that okay. be fun? That would be super fun. Get Zarek. So um, uh, I see it, Sarah, Rafel. No. No. Okay. I think, unless one of you called her. I no. You, you no, should just tap sorry. it. I'll also see um, David Fine. David Fine is someone I called. Great, bring Great. him in. Do you want to bring him in? Thanks. Yep. All right. Hi, David. Welcome to Who Knows One. This is a game show. We are trying to locate someone. You seem like you're nodding. I, people need to start nodding. That helps me. <laughs> That was Shut good, up. body language, let's go for it. No, I appreciate it. All right, you're on team Adam. I'm gonna turn you over to Adam. No Googling or Facebook stalking, please. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, David, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. We're in a race. We're looking for Emily Fuller. She's 32, she grew up in St. Louis. Uh, she went to Pattonville High School, is that right? Yep. Now she's in Columbia, Missouri and goes to Beth Shalom. Do you know? And, and here's her? another clue. She went to college at Mizzou. Okay, college at Mizzou. David, do you know the rabbi in Columbia, Missouri? Of course, it changed over. That's the problem. <laughs> Maybe you could contact you, the former talk. rabbi. Do you know someone who knows the rabbi in Columbia, Missouri? Um, all right, how far am I allowed to look? I believe that's Yossi Feintuck was the former rabbi. There. Okay, so get, get, yeah, get him on. If Do you have his contact info? Have to be right. personally connected to him. So you either well, have that's to That's the problem. Personally, no. Professionally, yes. Well, are you friends with him on Facebook? No, no, no. Okay. Give us, do you have a phone number in your cell phone? If 
I love, you know, I don't think so, but it's always worth looking because I know the way this works. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Go check it out. Thank you. All right. Um, Jennifer, for you all. Uh, so I reached out to Lisa Alper and trying to get her on because she knows everyone in St. Louis. Okay, thank she's you. She's not responding, but she's on Facebook. So Lisa, you should respond if you're watching. Re Rebecca, are you coming in again? Yeah, so I can use my phone. I'm trying to work the canter, the Missouri canter angle. Work the Missouri canter angle. Anyone know Does anyone anybody, from Missouri? Do we know, do we know anything about camp or- um, Not yet. Or yeah. NIFT? Mizzou, you said Mizzou, right? That's right. Let me check with some of my Milwaukee kids because they, they might know. Go for it. Okay, oh, here I am, Joyce. <laughs> there's an Elizabeth, there's an Elizabeth Zeller. No, okay, I think that's me. I think. Sorry. I just kind of said it to everyone. Okay. Canter, Missouri Canters, answer the phone. Where are the Missouri Canters? Well, Seth Warner's in St. Louis and Tracy Fishbine, she's from St. Louis, I think. Okay. Um, Amy, if it's helpful, um, Rosalie Will is from St. Oh, Louis. Oh, Rosalie, Rosalie, Rosalie. Bring in Rosalie, Rosalie. bring in Rosalie. Bring in Rosalie. Absolutely, David, you bring in Rosalie. I can, either one of us can. Let's all, let's see, see who gets Rosalie her. first. Yeah, all of you text her. Just yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's easy. a great idea. Uh, wow. I see uh, Lisa Alpern, Alpern. Okay. Yeah. That's yours, okay. okay. Wonderful, Thank thanks, you, Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> Hello. Every time, every time somebody Hi there. comes in my dog shirt, someone at our Did we door. Hear camp yet? No, no, right? Not yet. Uh, but it is nine minutes, so I'm going to share another clue. Her birth name is Marks. Okay. M A R X. Emily Marks Fuller. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Lisa. I apologize if I'm saying your name incorrectly, but welcome to Who Knows One. All this good. Is show. You are on team Adam. We are trying to locate someone, get them onto this Zoom call, and time is of the essence. No Googling or Facebook stalking allowed. Go ahead, Adam. Okay, thank you for being here. We're looking for Emily Fuller, Emily Marks Fuller. Do you know her? I do not. Okay, well, maybe you know someone who knows her. She's 32. Yep. She grew up in St. Louis. <laughs> she went to Mizzou. She went to Pattonville High School. Um, and now she lives in Columbia, Missouri, and goes to Beth Shalom in Columbia. So, do you know? Hey, can you help me with an age range? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. 32. No, no. I'm sorry. I heard the thirty-two. I'm trying to think in high school years. I know uh, that seems crazy. I know in St. Louis, we ask, "What year did you go to high school?" Two thousand six. Two thousand six, Pattonville. Two thousand and six. Okay, so in two thousand and six, I was at CRC. <sighs> Pattonville, Emily Fuller. I think she was in David. Oh, oh I can oh. picture her hair. Oh, I do know who she is. I See, Lisa knows everyone in St. Louis. What? I don't know everybody, especially Pattonville. I'm so sorry. do you know someone who could who so, might know right, her? Right. I'm trying to think for a moment. So she's 26 and it was in Pattonville. She's probably knows either Kyla Gersten. Or, no, no, no. She's older than Kyla. She's not much older than Kyla. She and Kyla knew a whole bunch of them that were older than Kyla. Hold on. You have Emily, Kyla's contact info. Well, I'm also thinking Emily Thalcone. So Emily just turned 30 or 28. So text them both. Text them both. Text Hold them on. both. Do you have their Emily. Do you have their info? Did Emily go to Mizzou? Emily did not go to Mizzou, but Emily knew a whole bunch of people at Mizzou. I think Emily would be better than Kyla. Okay, well, the only other person I'm thinking about, Jennifer, that might actually know, hold on, Emily is slightly older, Pattonville also, Mark Cohn might have actually been her advisor. Okay, hold Text on. all of them, because some they might not respond. You just have okay, to copy paste on. the Zoom link. I'm fixing. Like everyone, you know, do you know Jamie Myers too? I just tried her. Lisa, just remember not to give any information away. Yeah, just share the just Zoom link, the Lisa. Call. Share right. the message you got from uh, yeah. Jennifer. Okay, David, who was the nifty? Who so the problem is, is Emily Emily's the nifty birthday. director? Let's see. So that would be like the Ohio. 
Northwestern, it's Ohio or Valley. Or Missouri Valley, and it's- Do you have Jeremy classes? I don't have Jeremy classes. Yeah, okay, here comes a new clue. Let me try the clocks to see if I have them in my phone. She went okay. to camp at Ben Frankel. Oh, not she this ben Frankel. Oh, then Roxanne might know her. All right, well, text, text to everyone. Everyone, everyone, come on. Hold on. <laughs> we are we working on. I'm going to start with Roxanne because it was Ben Frankel or Cindy Levy. Text them all. Text them all. Text I'm telling you. So <laughs> I got, I like, I, I reached out to Aaron Klaus. You know, oh, yeah. he was like in that, in the Midwest for a little while, but he might know someone who knows someone. Okay. okay. Let's try. Let's try. So I, I have been like making progress, it. Adam. I mean, Lisa seems to like. Yeah. You know, She's conjuring an image. People. Thank you for bringing her. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's to hoping. Okay, so I'm going to send the Zoom to Roxanne first and then to Cindy Levy. Great. Just send it to all of them. You know, we... I got it. Yep. Yeah, thank you. It's the awesome. problem is the Mizzou. The only other thing okay. is... Okay. Aaron Klaus is going to come on. Okay, good. And then maybe... maybe did somebody else reach out to... Here? No, because then Wait, Frank Mike, you have to tell people not to text us. I can't and tell them anymore that I already tell them. Oh, this is like the coolest I've ever been in my whole life, and <laughs> people are breaking the rules. You're very cool. About well, don't rules. don't let them cheat, or else it invalidates. You know. Uh, and Rebecca, where is Rosalie? You didn't, feel free. Yeah, so I didn't it, know. So you didn't respond. So many people text. Are you trying to find Rosalie? Rosalie will. I tried. Rosalie. Yeah, Rosalie will. Yeah, try to. I texted her. I, I texted her. I, I also texted Rosalie her. I'm sure she probably did too. Rosalie was traveling this week. Last time I heard. Uh, oh, we have she uh, she uh, house, oh, 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 what about Rick Wrecked? Oh, Rosalie Hi, Rabbi Shapiro. Welcome to Who Knows One. This is a game show. We are trying to locate someone, get them onto the Zoom call. You are on Team Adam. No Googling or Facebook stalking allowed. Adam, tell them who we're looking for. Hi, Rabbi Shapiro. It's good to see you. I think you were on my HUC admissions committee <laughs> way back in the day. Um, oh, we you're are on mute. We are saying looking, you're on mute. Yeah, it's okay. We're looking for Emily Marks Fuller. Uh, do you know her? Can no. you tell her she was at Ben Frankel? She went to Camp Ben Frankel. She's 32. She grew up in St. Louis. Uh, she went to Pattonville High School. Uh, she went to Mizzou. And now she lives in Columbia and goes to Beth Shalom. Do you know a way to get to her? Say the name again. Emily Marks Fuller. And it's not the same Marks as your oh. Roxanne. Yes. Do you know the Emily one? How old? Or do we not know that yet? 32. 32. 32. All right. So real quick, who brought Roxanne in? Lisa did. And I have Cindy Levy who's about to come in who's all about oh, Ben Frankel. We can Frankel. only bring on one yes. person, but there's an oh, Aaron sorry. Klaus in the waiting That's me. Room. That's Aaron me. Klaus. Okay. So we're going to bring in Aaron. Roxanne, while you're thinking about it, here's another clue. She grew up at Congregation Sha'are Sedeq. <laughs> Seth Warner. Well, that doesn't oh, exist no, anymore, no, but um, that's, not sure that's that's Hi, Aaron. Welcome to Who Knows One. Uh, you are on Team Adam. We are trying to locate someone, get them onto the Zoom call. No Googling or Facebook stalking allowed. So Go ahead, Adam. You, Aaron. Rob, you want me to get yeah. Aaron Hadley on the phone? Rock, Rock, Dan, get, get anyone you can. We're running but out I'm of time. I'm not wearing my Ben Frankel shirt, but I could get Aaron. It'll still count. Sure. Fast, fast, just copy. Wait, Adam, now I know why you're so stressed out. Like, come okay. on, <laughs> hold on. That's All right, Aaron, everyone, we're looking for Emily Marks Fuller. She's 32. Robin, Robin. She, sorry. She's 32, she grew up in St. Louis. She lives in Columbia now. She went to Camp Ben Frankel. She goes to Beth Shalom in Columbia. She went to Pattonville High School and she went to college at Mizzou. Do you know her or know someone who might know her? Yeah, none of those help me whatsoever, but um, I'm sorry. But um, I'm going to call uh, my good friend Beth Lipschitz. I think she's right. <laughs> Text Beth, her. Text Beth everyone you know. Text her. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. So I just sent her the Copy same link. Zoom link. Yeah. And just so everybody on the call knows, Adam has until 20 minutes. And we're okay, Robin, on, guys. Faster. I just reached out to Robin Faintage. Also, 
who was the youth advisor at Sharon Zedek for a while. All right, Lisa, you can't bring anyone else in, just FYI. Nope, I know. Okay. Roxanne, do you have a way to get to Robin Faintich or any? Or um, I'm getting or Aaron Hadley right now. Okay. He didn't have to leave. <laughs> Hi, somebody call Rick Wrecked. Uh, there's I might an have iPhone. Robin on Facebook. Let me check. There's an iPhone here. Who's the iPhone. Who's the iPhone? Big mystery. We also have Beth Lipschitz coming in. Rick is not, I don't think Rick is going to know someone at that age. Who brought in Beth? He doesn't have to know them. He has to know someone who knows them. Aaron, right. will you send, I, I send a the message to Aaron Hadley? All right, Beth is here. Beth knows the rules. Beth, you're on Team Adam. Go ahead, Adam. Hi, Beth. We're I looking. have been watching. Aaron, will you send me the text that's not just the link, but also the ask for oh, me to forward on? on? Well, oh, I didn't I, get that. You know her back. Oh, can someone put it in the chat? Yeah, I don't know here, her, but I do know the educator at Beth Shalom. Okay. In the chat. Send it to the educator at Beth Shalom. Right. I don't know who iPhone is. We can't see you. Uh, welcome to the show. <laughs> Reveal yourself if you dare. Apparently, <laughs> iPhone's a dog. <laughs> Who's a good dog? All right, last clue. Uh, these are her immediate family members. Her sisters are Rachel Luther and Sarah Marks, and her dad is Bill Marks. Okay. No, but Aaron is uh, responding, so hold on. Uh, Sarah Marks. Robin, Robin uh, in the chat, in the uh, waiting room. I'm is on. Sarah Marks, do we know how old Sarah Marks is? Who brought in Robin Faintage? I brought in, Lisa brought in Robin Faintage. Okay, but I think she had brought in. Uh, I Nate. already brought in Roxanne. Yeah. You That's told right. me to text everyone I knew. No, I know it's okay. No, you did it right. Yeah. You just can only bring in one. Yeah. Um. Okay, Aaron is responding. Oh, he can't make it tonight. Oh no. How about Sarah? Wait, do we know how old? Are you thinking it's Sarah? I'm going to bring in Robin. Hold on, let me get Robin. Okay, bring in Robin. Robin, what can you no, Robin, possibly okay. be doing? Can you bring in Robin from yep. me or yep. do I yeah. have to? Nope. Because I know nope. Robin, I'm Facebook friends with her. Yep. Okay. Hi Robin, we're under the gun. You're on team Adam. Go ahead, Adam. Hey Robin, we're looking for Emily Marks Fuller. Do you know her? I don't, but you guys said Ben Frankel and Sheldon yeah. Lowe's dad, I think was the director at yeah. Ben Frankel. Yeah. Okay, send the text yeah. to him. Try to get so, Sheldon. Hold on, let me get Robin. I'm right, right here. Turn, off, turn down your Facebook, Robin. Can you bring in Robin from yep. me, or yep. do I yeah. have to? Oh, yeah, that's delayed. I'm in. I'm in. Let me yep. see if I can get Sheldon Lowe. Hi, Robin. Hi, guys. Okay. Uh, you got eight seconds. Robin. No, Adam, we, I told you, was... you have to be funny. You have to be funny. Uh -huh. that, I told you that. Because you're, you're going to okay. get what? Okay. We've hit 20 I minutes. Think, oh, yeah. Sheldon Lowe's dad was the director. Okay. Hey, Robin, you need to turn down your Facebook. <laughs> uh, all right, we have hit 20 minutes. So Adam, you've got an, an, a, a wonderful collection of talent here with I you. I do, I appreciate it. Thank um, you. So you can make one so, more outreach. So, and, and the rules don't, like if you brought someone on, you can still bring, right? And the collectively, to me right now. One more all right, collectively, who, <laughs> who's gonna know her? Oh, you know who else? Um, I'm Liz talking to the Singer. Educator. Liz Singer was also Shari Tzedek, and isn't she the close to that age? Okay, it's so Seth bring Warner, on come on. Also, Lisa Alpern, I right now. You don't think Seth is gonna know her? All right, now just remember, it's Adam. Not Shaffer, and I'll try to get him. Minutes. Lisa, Adam, I'm talking to Debbie Kaplan, who's the educator at Beth Shalom. Okay, she's, tell her to come on. She's weary of the link. She just asked how I knew her, which is totally fair. So I, we'll see if she, we'll see okay. if she comes Hopefully on. Hopefully, she knows her. Oh, she just said she will click the link. Okay. All right. So, do you want to bring her, or do you want someone yeah, else? It seemed like bring, Rebecca had some people. She have no idea. Right. It's only if, um, yeah. We'll I mean, she works there now, but I don't know we'll anything else. About it. Yeah. Okay. Let's bring her on. Can Thank you. All. Someone job in something like <laughs> while we leave. Uh, Roxanne, when were when were you in Israel for HEC? Ninety. Four ninety-five. It is a great group. All right, there's a Cantor Seth Warner. He's not the right person. We have 
to wait for the educator from Beth Shalom to come in. Well, is she like, coming? That is what we decided. Said as a community. she is. Oh, Lord. Her name is Debbie Kaplan. Okay. Debbie Kaplan is going to save the day. Why would Seth Warner know her? Where Where is he the cancer? Scott Shaffron is an educator rabbi at Char it's Cole Reno, which is now Char was Shard Sedek. Can you reach that person? I, I just sent it to him. And uh, okay. Liz Singer was the youth director after me there. Um, and she might be that age as well. She's a Jewish educator, I think, in Florida now. And okay, I also sorry. sent it to Sheldon Lowe, whose dad, I think, was director of Ben Franklin. Wait. Uh, yeah, Robert, did you send it to us? So this, Where's this... Debbie? Where's Debbie? Liz didn't uh, answer, and Seth won't know if I don't know, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, you know who might know? Can yeah. Robin get to Cindy? Cindy, who? I texted Cindy Levy, and she wasn't sure she wanted to get on. So Cindy. Um, I can get Cindy Levy. Come on, Cindy. Or I also sent it to somebody who lives in Cindy Columbia. Levy, man. All right, well, we're, we're, we're already out of time. I may have one. I can get a hold of the director of the camp because his brother is in Seattle. Okay, well, Cindy is trying to get on. Are Aaron Hadley? Because right, there's a Jessica Shaffron. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Bring her in. yes. Bring her in. Okay, we're going to bring Aaron Jessica Hadley, in. who's the director okay. of Ben Frankel. He's Jessica not available. Shaffron. He right, looks Jessica. very busy. All right, Jessica. you're on team. You're on team Adam. Uh, we have a minute and a half to get oh, somebody here. So go ahead, Adam. Jessica, do you know Emily Marks Fuller? No. She grew up in Shard Sedek. Who's her family? Who's her dad, Adam? Her dad is Bill Marks. Her sisters are Rachel, Luther, and Sarah Marks. I don't, I'm not connected nope. to this one. Oh, well. OK. Still be All right. Ball game. My husband would have been the one to call. Sorry. I tried him. Okay. He didn't respond. Oh, it's, he's it's, on a call. That's why. And I'm not <laughs> even near him. <laughs> when you All say right. not near him, do you mean then like you're not in the same time to get in. Or like, could you walk over to him? I am currently in a hospital. <laughs> at work. <laughs> All right. You're answering. Thank you for working and saving lives. And that's it's it. much more important. This is checking a box on our list of people we want to get on. Someone who's actively doing like surgery or something, which yes. is what I'm going to choose to think you're doing right now. So let's uh, not you call you someone who's actively doing surgery. I feel like that's a terrible idea for the Jewish people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like that, what if they're... Ugh. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all. I feel like we were... Oh, we were so close. Adam, just uh, remember... Or you still have a chance. Losers yeah. can be winners too. That's what happened last week. <laughs> I read. So, yeah. It will happen. All right, we're going to say goodbye to everybody. Right. Thank you so much. Bye, for bye everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 All right, bye. Adam, we're going to send you to the green All room. Right. And uh, we'll see again. This is what happened last week. We still pulled it out. So. All right. Have fun, everyone. See ya. Okay, so that's gonna be interesting because now if Melissa finds the chosen one, then that's, I think that's it. But then unless, I short unless, you, unless, you know, there's gotta be some sort of bragging rights between the super connectors. Yeah, and I feel and maybe like- establish a pecking order or something. Yeah, no, I think we would have to do that. Hey, Melissa. Hi. How was the green room? It was so fun. Um, all right. So uh, no pressure, but Adam <laughs> found the chosen one in four minutes and 13 seconds. Wow. It felt like I'm so kidding. much longer. <laughs> no, he didn't. he didn't. It's actually the world is your oyster. Uh, so you can, uh, wah, you wah, wah. can breathe easy for the moment. All right. Uh, no, I'm technically, I might not lose. I just may not win. It'll be a That's draw. true. That's true. Way to find the positive. That's me. I'm always looking up. Everyone. All right. The okay. categories are in the chat. Uh, you are going to get name and age, and then you will choose three from these categories, where they grew up, where they live now, where they went to camp, what they do for a living, high school, college, grad school, immediate family, call a kavod, those are random facts, temple growing up, and temple now. And remember, not all of those categories necessarily have an answer. Which three would you like? 
Oh, well, I watched one time when someone picked camp and they were like, there is none. So I can't afford to waste it on that. So college, right? Okay. David Stolman is saying we should, we should go with, where, don't sell yourself short. Where would you live now? Where you went to college? When you say Temple Now, are you going to be like Beth Bomb and I have to guess what city it's in? I mean, probably, I mean, if you chose now as a category, I think you could probably Okay, make I don't want that. Then do we want where you grew up? Okay, and where you grew up. Okay, so where they live now, where they went to college, and where they grew up. I'm shaking. Hold on. All right, I got to get ready before you set the timer with all okay. of the equipment. Okay. Your chosen one identifies as female, and her name is Emily Fuller. Emily Fuller, she is 32 years of age. She originally is from St. Louis, Missouri. She went to college at the University of Missouri or Missouri University, University, University of Missouri. Yeah. Uh, and uh, she currently lives in Columbia, Missouri. And your time begins now. Why are you walking out? I'll be right back. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, I'm so no, on a Zoom call. No, you're on your own. All right, so she lives in Columbia, Missouri. <laughs> Um, okay, she's 32, and I have to say who I'm going to... That's right, because if they've been brought on, they are ineligible. And he had a pretty solid number of people on, so I'll be curious to see if there's some overlap. Okay, I'm going to pull out some randoms, but, and I think, this is so bad, but like, I, I think University of Missouri, it's, it's Mizzou, and when I... Worked for my sorority. That was one of the first college campuses I went to go visit. So I am going to call someone who knows everyone at college campuses, especially women, named Bonnie Wunsch. And she is the executive director of AFI. And hopefully she will hop on and okay. help me she connect is, to people. She, she is eligible. Okay. Can and I do an A back here? <laughs> You can do whatever you would like, but I'm working here. Um, <laughs> Should I entertain everybody with some Rush songs? <laughs> no. No, no, no. Wait, she lives in St. Louis now. Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, she lives in Columbia. Oh, she lives in Columbia now. She grew up in St. Louis. Correct. All right, Bonnie Wunsch is here. You want to bring her in? Yes, please. Okay. Hi, Bonnie. Welcome to Who Knows One. This is a game show. You are on team Melissa. She's going to tell you who we are looking for. No Googling or Facebook stalking allowed. I'm going to turn you over to Melissa. She's going to tell you what we know. Go ahead, Melissa. Okay. Wait, I'm texting one more person. Um, hi, Bon. Thank you for joining hey, us. <laughs> We're looking for um, a, a person who identifies as female. Her name is Emily Fuller. She's 32 years old. She's from St. Louis. She went to Mizzou and she lives in Columbia. So I'm thinking you can help me connect to like Connie. Sally Lang. Sally, who I know watches. So will you call Sally? Yes. Emily Fuller, 32 and lives in. Okay. Got it. I'll call her. Be but, right back. But don't send any of the information out, Bonnie. Just yeah, only, you can only share here. the text that Melissa sent to you. Okay. Cool. Okay. Actually, Sally's on my list in Missouri. Okay, I'm gonna do another person who I know is watching. I'm gonna actually see if we can win this with people that don't get called in all the time. Let's see. So I just sent it to, um, I sent it to Subi Bonajinsky. I don't know if she'll see it. And I sent it to Jamie Graylight. All right, well, here comes another clue. She went to high school at Pattonville High School. Where? Pattonville. Is that with an H, like a hat on your head? Uh, there's, a Jamie oh, Light. there's a Jamie Light in the waiting room. Let her in. All right. Hi, Jamie. All right, based on- Hello, how Heart family. <laughs> Based on how giddy everybody is in this uh, in behind you, I'm going to guess you know what this game is. We know what's yes, going yes, on. Yes. 
So <laughs> Melissa, Sally's definitely your person, but I can also check with Jen Lotsoff, who works for the Federation in St. Louis, and um, I'll take care of that right now. Hi, Dave Solman. <laughs> All right, when's my next clue? Hi, Stolman. Uh, Wait, Bonnie, time. you sent me the link. Send it to Sally. I sent it to Sally. I, I know, I sent it to both of you. <laughs> this is what I get for doing this on my phone and not on the computer. No, okay. that was the requirement. If I was calling you, you had to know how to send a link. It was- Thank you, smart Alec. <laughs> right, hold on. Jamie, who you got with you there? So this is, so by the way, this is Jamie Graylight. So I don't know if anybody remembers me from Jacobs, but um, way back in the day, um, my husband, Ben, my daughter, Hannah, we're all fans of the show. Ah. Um, ben and David Stolman worked together their first year out of <laughs> undergrad. Melissa and I met at AFI convention in 1993. And um, Bonnie and I, that summer at convention, Took a picture for your dad because we're yeah, we both did. Jacobs people. So this is like Jacobs reunion, A5 How reunion. Fun. I want to say two things, Jamie. One, I love that you're sharing this. Two, I want to make sure that you're good at multitasking. Right. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm sending it to people. It. We're good. We're okay. good. I gotta set a new record. I know. I gotta set a new record. Hold on. I need to confer with my partner. Wait, when's my next clue? I need camp or something. 40 more seconds. I don't know if I want to waste my third clue on my third one. Did you call Sally? Yeah, she said give her more clues. No, just tell her she has to join the meeting. I told her to just log on. Okay, Sean Morgan, if you're watching, Rick Rack, if you're watching, check your text messages. Jen yeah, Lotta. Rick Rack was mentioned in a previous round, but he did not come on, so he is eligible. Oh, okay, hold on. Bonnie, are. what can you tell us about that ice cream? Huh? It, it looked like you maybe had some ice cream. I won't tell you what it was. It wasn't ice cream. Melissa, it wasn't my food. Hey, <laughs> here comes it was my clue. husband's food, I promise. Here I comes another clue. Away. She currently Bye. goes to the synagogue at Beth Shalom. There's a Sally Lang in the waiting room. Okay. Jamie, what is your birth name? Mine, Jamie Gray, G-R-A-Y. Hi, Sally. Welcome to Who Knows One. I'm Micah. I'm the host. This is a game show. You're nodding. That's great. You're on team, <laughs> you're on team Melissa. We are trying to locate someone, get them onto the Zoom. No Googling or Facebook stalking. Go ahead, Melissa. We are looking for a person who identifies as female. Emily Fuller, 32 years old, from St. Louis, lives in Columbia, Missouri, went to Mizzou. 32. Okay, oh, yes. I know somebody else who may know. All right, but Bonnie, you can't bring anyone else if you brought Sally or did Jamie. But you can tell me if it's somebody I know. That's Libby. Right. Someone I know. Uh, Jamie, get Libby. Okay. 32 from a zoo. Oh, know. Libby, I still have another. That's younger. That's yes, younger. Than too young. Hold on. 32 from a zoo. Shit. Sally. Well, they weren't yes. any high. That's for sure. Um, yes, but there's somebody else there who is, who wait, is still. Sally, what about Allison? Would she know the person? Whittles? If um, no, too old. Wrong school. I love it. Yeah. Um, make no, no, but like, 32 from St. Louis. Her. All right, know. keep it moving or I'm just going to pick someone. Tell her where, where was the clue again? Where did she go to high school? Okay. I, that, that, that's why um, not Allison. What about your kids? You guys have to keep calling. <laughs> I, I, I was don't sending care. a bunch of things. Do we know camp yet? Not yet. Okay. Sally, how about your kids? H Y. I reached out to Stefan. He knows everybody. Uh, remember, you can't share second. information in the text. Just the link. I uh, just shared the link. That's all I've shared. Perfect. Um, okay, hold on. Somebody else is the zoo. All right, hold on. I'm thinking okay. I'm just going to call in another person um, because I'm getting worried that we're going to hit dead ends and I don't, um, I don't know why I'm like having 
All right, here we go. A lot of people said they'd help me. So I hope you're ready, a lot of people. Well, but say their names so that uh, there's an Elisa. Elisa Recht, bring her in. Okay, so that's yours. All right. That's Jamie's. Well, we're waiting for Elisa to come on. Here's I'm gonna call in. Sorry, who do you have? That's all right, another clue. Her birth name is Marks, M-A-R-X, Emily Marks Fuller. Okay, Emily. Uh, Lisa, are you there? Hi. Hi. <laughs> we don't see you yet, but welcome to Who Knows One. This is a game show. I'm Mike. I'm the host. We are trying to locate someone and get them onto this Zoom call. And you are on Team Melissa. She's going to tell you what we know about this person, and you're going to see if you can help us find them. No Googling or Facebook stalking allowed. Go ahead, Melissa. Hey, we're looking for a person who identifies as female. Her name is Emily Fuller, formerly Emily Marks. Um, she is 32 years old. She grew up in St. Louis. She went to Mizzou, and she, and she currently lives in Columbia, Missouri. Thinking. <laughs> so we don't. We don't see. Kelly, what about what's your face, Simon? Um, the the journalism teacher at Mizzou. I don't know who that is. Oh. Okay. I, I just sent to Carrie Hollander. That's a good one. Oh wait, I'll look it up. Jamie, do you know who I mean? Oh, I'm, I'm dead now. I'm like, oh, All right, so Jamie I Simon. Oh. I sent it to, tell me if you have in the waiting room, anyone else. I sent it to Nicole um, and Berkman and I, and I sent it to um, I mean, Solly go. Kane. Okay. And if I butcher anyone's names, I'm sorry. I'm like, asking. Elisa, any, any thoughts? Um, I unfortunately don't have any thoughts, but I, let's see. I can try to call my friend Leslie Goldenberg, who would know somebody likely. I think she knows somebody that knows her. Um, do you want, is, yes. is that a good yes. next step? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Don't okay, share wait. any information in the text. Just send her the same text that you got. Okay. Right, we got to keep the chain going until we find Emily. So <laughs> job, if you're not dead in terms of who you've texted, like Sally, mm -hmm. keep texting people to get people on. I've got Nicole. Yep. Do you want Nicole? Melissa? I want Nicole, yeah. Okay. Nicole, who is always yelling in the comments that people don't bring her in enough. So I'm, I'm betting she's going to help you. Hey, Nicole. <laughs> Hi. Good to see you. You're on team Melissa. Go Hi. ahead, Melissa. I've been watching. Go. Um, the question is, Micah, because I've been watching, I'm, I'm pretty- you, you are able to use the information that you have. You I don't can't have- I share it with Melissa? Correct. You cannot share it with Melissa, but I will share this with Melissa. She went to camp at Ben Frankel. That doesn't help me. Hi, Leslie, welcome. Sally, does that help you? All right. Good um, night. <laughs> Melissa, okay. oh, go. Do, you want to, do you want to say it to this person real quick? Yes. Hi, Leslie. Welcome. Hi, Leslie. Good to see you again. Hi. You're on Team Melissa. I know you know how the game works. Go ahead, Melissa. Yeah, yeah, I've been watching. Okay. Leslie, do you know who it is? Do you know who it is? Um, I mean, to be honest with you, the combination of characteristics is very odd for St. Louis, but I will believe that they're true. Um, I Tell me what we know so far. Emily Mark um, Fuller, 32 years old from St. Louis, went to University Mizzou, I know, and um, lives in Columbia still now. Uh-huh. And the um, temple, what was the temple? Oh, Beth, the Reform Synagogue temple. Beth Shalom. Beth Shalom. Beth Shalom uh -huh. And went to Brent Ben Frankel camp. So Leslie, you're in play. And Sally, you're in play. And Nicole, you're in play. So you- mm -hmm. Wait, did, did so Lisa, 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 Lisa call me? Who called me? Elisa called me. Elisa. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say call Elisa. Micah Sari. Micah Sari is not in play, correct? Correct. You cannot call Sari. Okay. So here's my question, Melissa. Okay. You, I have an idea. I'll be right back. Do you want to go like an FJC route? Like, do you want to like do Brianna and Solly if they pick up because so they Solly might Solly is in the waiting room for what it's worth. Nicole, use it on Solly. Use it on Solly. 
Use it on, can I use it on Solly or? Are you connected to him? I'm Facebook friends with Solly, yeah. Okay, I'll allow it. We're on her. <laughs> hey, Solly, good to see you, buddy. Uh, welcome back to Who Knows One. You're on team Melissa. We are trying to locate somebody and get them onto this call. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna let Melissa tell you what we know. Go ahead, Melissa. Great. All right. I was hoping we'd get there by now, but it's okay. Emily, Molly, you're, you're gonna be at you and Leslie. Emily Marks, 32 years old, from St. Louis, went to Mizzou, lives in Columbia, Missouri now, belongs to the Reform Synagogue in Columbia, and um, went to Ben, ben Frankel, yeah. camp, camp Ben Frankel, Ben Frankel camp. So I don't know if you know anyone from that synagogue, if you know. Yeah, I know some St. Louis people, so I'll reach out to them. All right, so we've got a Bridget Rosenberg and a Sam Zadikoff. Yeah, Brigida. Sam, Sam Zadikoff is mine. She okay. knows a lot of Jews, so hopefully oh, she's that can't, bring, you can't bring in Brigida because you brought in Solly. Uh, that Brigida's mate. This is yeah, like I, a, I, I can call Brigida. Brigida. professionals reunion. Okay. I did. I'm the Facebook friends with her, but I well, thought Sally can bring her in. All right, Sally, bring her in. Sally Burn. Is Bonnie on Facebook in the chat? <laughs> What's that? Uh, hi, Sam. Sam. And hi, Brigida. Hi. I'm pronouncing that correctly. I apologize if not. You got this it. Is one. This is a game show. We're trying to locate somebody and get them onto this Zoom call. No Googling or Facebook stalking allowed. You're on Team Melissa. She's going to tell you what we know about the person, and hopefully you can help us find them. Go ahead, Melissa. Hi, Brigida. Hi, Sam. Okay, we are looking for Emily Fuller, whose maiden name is Mark, 32 years old, from St. Louis, went to Mizzou, still lives in Columbia, Missouri, belongs to the Reform Synagogue Beshalom, and went to um, Camp Ben Frankel, and went to Pattonville High School, which... Sam, don't you know someone from Ben yes. Frankel? Yes, so I know. So okay, cancer. I'm going to reach out to the Mizzou Hillel director. Okay, so Cantor O'Brien here in Chicago went to Shari Zedek and he went to Ben Frankel. So let me message him and see if he'll get on. By the way, on. that's the next clue, Melissa. She grew up at Shari Zedek Synagogue in St. Louis. Yeah, Brigida. So if you also know anyone at Shari Zedek. It's not, it doesn't exist anymore. Or if you know who was there since the Rebinic network is connected. Uh, we've got early childhood. That's <laughs> Sasha, I think, for me. Okay. <laughs> hey, Hi Sasha. There. Welcome back to the show. We are trying to locate someone, get them onto this Zoom call. I'm going to turn you over to Melissa. You're on her team. Hopefully, you can help her find who we're looking for. Go ahead, Melissa. Awesome. All right, we're going pretty deep here. All right. Emily Marks Fuller, 32 years old, from St. Louis, on to Shari Went to Shari Um, Shari Zedek, Sasha. Shari Zedek in St. Oh, Louis. Shari Zedek. Oh, Emily Marks. I know her. Please I call her. Facebook her message her. <laughs> okay. Go, oh, Sasha. We'll see. I'm like, no, I don't have her number, but I definitely am Facebook messenger. <laughs> Um, for you're, you're friends with her on Facebook, you're saying? I should be. Okay. Right, and she knows. How do you spell Marks? M-A-R-X. Sally, how old is Andrew Dubman? He went to Pattonville. Oh, Ooh. Sally's already done. Sally brought in Brigida. Okay, I'm going to try a different strategy. No, Br Brigida, Brigida could bring somebody in. That's right. I have messaged Jean Snodgrass, who is the uh, Mizzou Hillel director, who okay. lives in Columbia. All right, well, here's your last clue, Melissa. These are her immediate family members. Her sister's Rachel Luther and Sarah Marks, and her dad is Bill Marks. And Brigida, you can keep messaging until somebody comes on. Yeah, you guys uh, can do that. Are you connected to Nancy Dubman? That was actually a good. Yes. But I'm wondering if Andrew is better than. Okay, I'm 32 and from St. Louis and used to be part of that youth group. I'm going to try to connect to a few other people who can connect with her. <laughs> I just messaged Allison Baker and I'm now messaging Jenny Levy. 
But are you also messaging Emily or no? Yeah, <laughs> It, I don't think that we're actually Facebook friends at this point. Wait, oh, am I friends with her? Um, do you follow each other on LinkedIn? I do not follow do her not. on LinkedIn. <laughs> um, but oh, Alex Schenker actually is a really a good uh, lead. Okay, so we've got one minute. We've got one minute. Okay. Okay. Is our Aunt Andrew okay. Heather or okay. Nancy? Uh, uh, Micah. If I know who the rabbi is in Colombia, but I'm not Facebook friends with him, can I still contact him? I'm you also gotta, if you don't have a personal contact to him, then you got to get someone else who can get you to him. If you don't have okay. their connection and you're not Facebook friends. Wait, are we looking for okay. more than one person at one time? No, just this person in no. 30 seconds. Just Emily. Just Emily. I'm so sad right now. I just messaged like six I thought people. we were going to have your back, Melissa. I Gone thought that I had a lot of you talk a lot of the game. It's not over yet. If Sasha <laughs> gets to one person that, that can get on here and may know Emily. Oh, that's right. right. I messaged them all and no one has responded. Wait, this I just a, want to make I, sure this is a really random person. No offense to the person. It's not a random person. <laughs> all right, we've not, hit we hit the 20 minute mark, which means wait, wait, wait. Oh I <laughs> Clearly, I can't. Yeah. Okay. No. Mutual friends. So, <laughs> Melissa, you may bring in one more person. You can choose anybody from anybody on the group that is on right now. Collectively, you may bring in one more person. Sasha. Get, Sasha. Sasha the key. Allison Shanker is responding right now. Yeah, Sasha, you're the key, Sasha. I know Allison <laughs> Shanker is the key. We're getting her. I'm awesome. trying. I know. I mean, you want to all give me feedback, but frankly, I'm not listening to you guys. So, I mean, one second. I'm gonna is, out they, is anyone friends with Brian Mitchell? He yes, was, I'm Brian oh, Mitchell. He was the Hillel director at Mizzou like 10 yeah. ish years ago. We can call we can him Brian Mitchell. Okay, the, oh, Matt, Sasha Facebook was in the youth him. group with this person and this other mutual friend she believes will know her. 100% this mutual friend knows her. Okay, Sasha, um, is she wait. coming in? This is the key. You've got like- four. Okay, wait, my, uh, my friend, yes, join the link. She's really confused right now because they've already been texting her tonight. I know everyone thinks I'm really nice. I'm super competitive. I don't think you're nice. Melissa. We know that. I love you. But I, that's why I'm, I'm making this. I'm, we're going to make you, we're going to get you the win. I promise. We're, okay. Allison's getting on the phone right now. Okay. Wait. Do you want to be with me for this? Now, a reminder you have 20, a, a total of 25 minutes. So we need to get her here quickly. We got like three minutes, Sasha, for her to get on and get Emily. She's incapable. I said join the link ASAP. Like now, or I'm gonna go, I'm gonna send it to Brian Mitchell, who I'm convinced. So, so, I mean, send it to Brian Mitchell. Yeah, Brian everyone. Mitchell would be great. Yeah, I mean, have options. Nothing wrong with that. Is is an Allison Shanker in the Zoom room yet? Not yet. Okay. I'm also gonna message Sarah Levy, who was the youth group director at the time. How how old is Laura's sister? I knew it was going to be some I'm, Midwestern thing. I was not going to be able to conquer. <laughs> You're not alone, though, Melissa. Seriously, you couldn't. Have, I don't know where else in Shanghai is failing you right now. Melissa, <laughs> not acceptable. I made a whole chart with your names on it, people. A whole chart. <laughs> I don't even know whose team I'm on. Tell Allison. There's only one my team. It's my team. <laughs> has a minute like she has tell her Sasha, what about what about the rosenbergs laura rosenberg and how old's her sister we're at 28 her sister's older two weren't they sure minutes. Minutes? two minutes remaining where is she all right sorry just get anyone on at this point <laughs> stephanie crawley is in the is in the room is in the waiting room who stephanie, stephanie. crawley I don't I think called Steph. She called her at all. She'd say as well. Okay, do, you think well. do you think she'd know her? No. I don't. Conservative versus reform. 
A minute and a half. <laughs> Right, I was unofficially <laughs> putting that up there. Is Allison Shanker not in the Zoom room yet? Well, not in the Zoom room. I promise. Tell her she's letting everybody down. Tell her she's letting them down. All right, now I'm just going to start knocking people off who can't help other people later. So, Laura, I can send it to Laura. She knows people. And she's I just giving called Laura. Let's see if she'll get pulled in. Should, wait, can someone resend me the link? Cause she's trying. Oh, she's, it's she's in the here. I know I'm, tr it's she's okay. getting a message saying to click open when the dialogue pops. Yeah, click open. That's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This hurts so bad. Yeah, tell her to click open. She's got 30 seconds. <laughs> we have Rabbi Leora Kay. Yeah, just let her in so no one else okay. can use her later. All right. <laughs> That's strategy. That's how I play. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not even trying. Hi, Rabbi K. Hey, hey everybody. <laughs> no, got no, 10 no, seconds no, to get Emily. Oh, oh the kids were here. Seconds. I have all kinds of weird backgrounds. It's okay. It's all right. It's I just need to knock Leora out for someone else, but. It was Emily all right. We hit 25 minutes. There's a Philip D's iPad, by the way. Was that? Who we think She's that waiting is? for the host to let you in. Let's let's. That's. I think that's her. Hi, Micah. You, you know, are. you don't have to call me, is Rabbi. It's too late. I don't know how this works. You can just call me. All here, right. Well, unfortunately, we didn't Allison's get there. In. She's Wait, in the stop. waiting room. Let me get out of here. Yeah, that's Philip D's yeah. iPad. Yes, that's we'll the first. Real quick. We'll yeah. Yeah. Oh, but this is your friend. This isn't even. This is a friend. Yeah. Yeah, this is. Hi, Sally. Philip D. Here we are. Allison. Hello. All right, Allison. just for, for shits and giggles. All right. Hi, Allison. Welcome to Who Knows One. This is a game show. Uh, we, we're actually not playing anymore, but we're going to turn you over to Melissa, who is our competitor. See if you know the person we're looking for. Go ahead, Melissa. Okay. I'm like too annoyed. Okay. Hey. Why are you doing it? Where's my. I, I tore it up already. Here. Hi, Allison. Emily. Hello. Hi, Hi, Carl. Carl. What's up? I'm looking for Emily Marks Fuller. Do you know her? I do know her. Could you get her onto the Zoom call if we needed you to? Um, I like, can you send her a Facebook message. I have. We went to synagogue together. Yeah. Uh, she's from St. Louis. That's and... awesome. Unfortunately, we're too late. If we had gotten to you like two minutes ago, then uh, that would have been awesome. But. Such is life. Um, but no, thank you, no, everybody. You all can't go on anymore. You're all knocked out for the next round. That's true. But thank you all for being on Saint Melissa. Sorry we didn't quite make it. Sorry to confuse you. Grabs. It's coming down no, to. SPV. I'm sorry. It's a valiant effort. I, I don't have Zoom on my phone, so I had to find the tablet and then like get it to download and run. And you know what? It's not your fault. It's not your fault. If they didn't need to get you until 24 minutes, it wouldn't have mattered. But Leora, it's good to see you as well. Too. Bye, Micah. Bye, and, uh, Melissa. All right, Bye, everyone. Bye, Sorry. everybody. Bye. Hey, Lisa, say hi to us for me. <laughs> all right. So at least from a you know show standpoint, very exciting. The game is still up for grabs. Melissa, we're going to put you back in the green room. Certainly a lot of people off the board. Yeah, no kidding. What up, SPB? Howdy. How you doing? Um, this person seems hard to find, so they're that probably is, uh, yeah, to it. That has been the case thus far. It is up for grabs. All you have to do is find them in regulation, and and you will be the winner tonight. It's like um, there's a great line in Forrest Gump. These are regulations, sir. <laughs> um, all right. Your categories. <laughs> Yeah. Are where they grew up, where yeah. they live now, where they went to camp, what they do for a living, high school, college, grad school, immediate family members, call a temple growing up, and temple they go to now. Which right. of those three categories, which three of those categories would you like? 
Okay. I feel like you oft choose people that go to like camps that are outside of the FJC camp network. And yet I'm going to go with camp okay. in town and where they went to college. So camp, I didn't hear the second one. Uh, where so, they live now. Camp now and oh. where they went to college. Camp now, camp forever, but where they live now. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Your chosen one identifies as female and her name is Emily Fuller. Okay. She's 32 years old. Okay. She went to camp at Camp Ben Frankel. Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> okay. She currently lives in Columbia, Missouri. Oh, wow. She went to the University of Missouri and your time begins now. She went to Mizzou? Yeah. My cousin went to Mizzou, but if I text this to him, he's gonna be like, why are you bothering me? Um, Camp Ben Frankel, has Julie Finkelstein been tapped yet? He has not. Okay, I'm gonna send it to Auntie Juju. Um, here we go. Cool, it's not happening. We got to one degree away. Okay. That's gotten so far. Okay, but what I've learned from Who Knows One is that if you know one person at Ben Frankel, they're all ready and wearing their shirts and sitting at the computer. Okay, so I'm sending it to- Let's Andrew. hope. Um, I am going to um, bring, I'm gonna send it to my cousin um, because he's never been on this and um, I have nothing to lose. This is just fun for me. Um, and all right, Columbia, Missouri. Who else do I know? They're a higher ed person. I know I have belly. I know. Okay, but I want to say it so I can, you know, shout out our sponsor every now and then, you know. Okay. Sorry, Micah. <laughs> Sorry, Micah, would you like to do your job? No, nah, that's okay. You got it. Um, okay, so, all right, Juju's texting me back. I hope it's, I'm coming, 32 years old, Missouri. Becca Sykes grew up in Columbia, Missouri, but it's the middle of the night in Israel. And also that was a long time ago. Well, there's only one way to find out if she's awake or not. Okay, let's see. So you're thinking maybe Julie Finkelstein and you're thinking maybe your cousin. Yeah. Um, so this person is like super Midwesty, and also they haven't left Columbia, Missouri ever, apparently. Um, I mean, uh, like, hopefully. Well, I don't know, but she went to college there, so. Fair. Current town and college, so she never left. She's, a, that's adorable. She could have left and come back. No, I know, yeah. like maybe she went on vacation when people could do that. Um, let's see. I need, well, this is like, okay, I need Midwestern people. Camp Ben, ben Frankel is so, whatever, it's not so funny. It's a lovely camp. If you go there, congratulations. Um, let's see, <laughs> who is slightly younger than me from the Midwest that just knows a lot of people? That's the wrong camp. Um, hmm. Let's try. Oh, that's an interesting choice. I don't know who she is. Yeah. Well, okay, I could go this St. Louis route, even though it's nowhere near Columbia. I'm like very well aware of that. Let's see, maybe Leslie's board. Leslie Hoffman Goldenberg, is she in play? Uh, she is not in play. Not in play. Okay. She's my age, but um, very Midwest. Well, I think St. Louis could be an interesting avenue because she is originally from St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, so, okay. Um, Leslie, I'm gonna send it to Noah and Tammy Arnow, and this time, when I send it to them, they're not gonna try to get um, another computer. They are gonna do it from their phones. Noah is a congregational rabbi in St. Louis. Got it. Um, oh, maybe Ari came in. Is Emily came in. Yeah, I thought we had Leslie Goldenberg. Didn't we already have her? We did, yeah, that's we did. what I said, she's not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's not in play? No, she's not in play. Oh. Yeah. She is ineligible. Sorry, I'm not allowed to play with you. That was voice to text. Okay, um, Noah. We have Noah Arno. Bring yeah, yeah, him bring him in. in. Yep. Okay. See, he's using his phone and not tripping over things to get to his laptop. Rabbi Arno, Tammy, hello. Hi guys, welcome to Who Knows One. 
Glad to have you here. You're on Team SBB. We are trying to locate someone and get them onto the Zoom call. This is the second family tonight that's been like a nesting doll of heads. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Asleep, All right. They're not. All, All right. right. Go ahead, Sarah. Team Beth. SBB. Okay, so we're looking for someone who identifies as female. Hello, Arno family. Uh, her name is Emily Fuller. She's 32. She went to Camp Ben Frankel um, and went to Mizzou and lives in Columbia, Missouri, but grew up in St. Louis. So could you work that St. Louis angle, please? Or do you know? No. Let's start I mean, with that. No, I, I don't know her. Um, what you said, she, she grew up here. We don't know what, do we know what Shul? Not uh, yet. Not yet. Uh, all right. Um, so Camp Ben Frankel, I would say uh, Sarah, um, uh, what's her name? Um, Sarah Kohler, I'm Facebook friends with her. I can, can I look on Facebook and just remember her last name? No. So you know she's a Ben Frankel person and her name is Sarah? Yes. Just start typing, it'll like autofill yeah. and you'll be like, that's Sarah. Is that allowed, Micah? You can't do research. If you're Facebook friends with the person, you can pull them up on Messenger, but you can't look to see someone's name. That doesn't. Uh, all right. So, um, all right, Sarah. She went to Camp Ben Frankel. Uh, Sarah Shara Colburn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sarah Shara Colburn. Uh, she actually worked at Camp Ben Frankel. Um, right, so yeah, I have. And yeah. I, Bring her on, Nono. All right, I, let me see if I have her cell phone number in my phone. Bonus points if you have a Camp Ben Frankel shirt. Yeah, what right? I? I literally, before this started, I said to Jeff, I'm joking, but maybe for Hanukkah, I'll get you a Camp Ben Frankel shirt. That is, that's the sort of banter that happens in this house. I have her cell phone number here. Um, and let me see, one second. Right, here's another clue. She went to high school at Pattonville High School. Yeah, that. Mm. I've been there. <laughs> no, I, that's in St. Louis, yeah? There. Does that help? Lewis is the right tree. Should I text? I texted it to. Um, should I send it to Ari Kamen to get to Emily? I don't. I don't know that they're. I mean, I don't know that they're going to know her. I mean, um, unless. But they're a little they younger. Don't have to know them. They're, they're Sarah. Sarah's yeah. younger than me. Sarah is about the right age. Okay. I'll send it to her cell phone too. Sarah Beth, you got two and a half minutes. I just text, until texted Sarah Colbert. Your Connector is unlocked. I don't, I don't want to say so. don't contact them. Okay, I got a text from someone telling me their age and that they're from the Midwest, and I don't think that's cheating, but I feel icky about it. I think if they're texting you anything, that's cheating. Okay, I, I feel I'm icky. About it. Um, you oh, should and feel icky. They should feel icky. No, I love them. I, I had no problem calling out Eddie when he was texting me wrong really rabbi before, but. Too. And she lives in Columbia now. We don't know job. We do not know job. All right. Yeah, no idea. Maybe she works at Shakespeare, the pizza place there. It's so cool. Very delicious. Um, that's what I'm here to advertise for pizza places in Columbia, Missouri. Um, All right, you've only got uh, one person, so you still got two additional lifelines. No, I know. Um, Let's see. What about um, Sarah Lev Zoller? Yeah, uh, did she go her. to Ben Franco? I don't know. I don't know her that well, but I know her from yeah. St. Louis. So I'm just going to send this to her because I like her. How many people do um, you get to Also, um, I know the former director of Ben Franco, but I don't know yeah. if she was that long. That's, uh, that's a good tree to bark yeah, up. Totally. <laughs> um, which Codner is he? Ari Kamen is in the waiting room. Uh, uh, then that'll be my second. Yep. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. We'll know other people in St. Louis too. Okay. Rabbi came in. I'm only calling rabbis. This is hilarious. Um, the, hi Ari. Hi Ari. Oh, Welcome hi to Emily. Everyone. Hey. Have you been watching? I we just so I can have a like production a meeting to tell you let me welcome him in first. Uh, hi Ari. <laughs> Welcome to Who Knows One. Thank you. We are on team Sarah Beth. We are trying to locate someone and get them onto the Zoom call. No Googling or Facebook stalking allowed. Go ahead, Sarah Beth. Um, Mike, I apologize. I'm an interrupt. Okay. Interrupting it's okay. part of the fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I'm pleasant. Okay. So, um, 
Hi, Emily and Ari. We're looking for Emily Fuller, identifies as female, is 32. She went to Camp Ben Frankel, lives in Columbia, Missouri, went to Mizzou and is from St. Louis and went to Pattonville High School. So this is like an oh, Emily angle as opposed to an Ari angle, but Emily's not I, in my yeah, phone. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. my sister went to Camp Ben Frankel and she's 33. Please text her what I sent to Ari. Thank you. Okay. Sarah Beth. Right, I'm texting her. I'm texting Another her right clue now. coming in. Her birth name is Marks, M A R X. Emily Marks. Fuller. And okay. it's now past nine minutes. So if you want to bring yeah. in your super connector, you can. Or yeah, sure. You can, or you, okay. Yeah, bring in Ellie. I've never what? had a chance to super connect to a super connector. Yeah. I, I will not. You can do your intro to her. It's one of your teammates. Hi Ellie, we're so Hi. glad to have you. I think you're only you're the only super connector that's been used as a super connector so far. That's amazing. Uh, I'm gonna turn you over to Sarah Beth. She's gonna tell you we're looking for what we no, know about. Been watching, we're good. So a lot of the people that I would have called um, have already been on or have already been unreachable. But I did reach out to Brian Mitchell because he did not actually get on as far as I know. Okay. Uh, oh, I love Brian Mitchell. Uh, yeah. Shana Warner. Just reached out to um, Shana Warner. Shana is in the waiting room. <laughs> Uh, she is? Yes. Bring her in. Okay. Thank you. And uh, Ellie, who are you? Who are we donating to on your uh, behalf for being our super connector tonight? Yeah, so I'm going to talk really fast. A friend of mine in Atlanta was standing in line to vote yesterday or two days ago for five hours and ordered pizza for the people in line. And now she is collecting like $1,800 to deliver pizza to people all over Atlanta. So I'll send Micah the information. And Awesome. Well, we are awesome. going to donate to Karen's that. in. She's oh, awesome. Here. Oh, Shana, I know you, Karen. Nice you. Welcome back to the show. You're on Team Sarah Beth. We were trying to find somebody. No Google or Facebook stalking. Go ahead, Sarah Beth. Hi, Shana. It's nice to meet you. Um, we're looking for Emily Fuller, Marks Fuller. Um, she's 32, identified this female. Do you know her? I'll keep going. I have more clues. I don't know her, but I may know someone who does. So okay. I'm going to keep starting. giving you those clues while you pull up whoever. Um, that is Sharer Law Offices in the waiting room. Say again? Sharer mm -hmm. Law Offices in the waiting room? Ari, is that? I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think that's Yes, us. that's Sarah Coburn. Yes, that's my okay. thing. Okay, well, we're going to. All right. All right. Shana, Camp and Frankel and Mizzou and Columbia, Missouri are the other clues. And Pattonville High School. Okay. Okay. Hold on one second. <laughs> Hello, Cher Law Offices. Hi there. Hi. I thought you won't let me rename myself. Sure. This is Who Knows One. I'm Micah. I'm the host. We are, this is a game show. We're trying to find somebody and get them onto this Zoom call. You're on team Sarah Beth. She's going to tell you who we're looking for and what we are know about them. Are you looking for Emily Fuller? Yeah. Are you oh. that, you're a Ben Frankel person. I remember yeah, you. We're I know for her. Emily Fuller. Will you send yeah, her the link to bring her on the call? Yeah. Thank you very much. What is uh, Here's another clue. She, yeah. meets, she grew up at uh, Congregation Sha'are Tzedek in St. Louis. <laughs> oh. So I got Cole Rina and I got Fadea right. Munaf. Right. Okay. That, that's that's, the, that's the, the shul that I'm a rabbi of, like legacy congregation, but, but uh, oh. don't actually know the family. Wait, so what's Sharer Loftus's actual name? Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Sarah. Oh, thank you, Sarah. I didn't get your name before. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, of course. And Emily Cohen in the in the waiting room. Oh yeah, that was me. Okay. Bring her in. Let's hang out. <laughs> do, we, do you got it? Hi, Emily. Welcome to Who Knows One. This is, is this a the show. We are looking for someone to get them onto this Zoom call. You're on Team Sarah Beth. No Googling or Facebook talking loud. I'm going to turn you over to Sarah Beth. She's going to tell you who we're looking for. Go ahead, Sarah Beth. So we're looking for Emily Marks Fuller. She's 32. Oh, identified oh, female. No. Wait, what? Sorry, she's wearing a Camp Ben Frankel shirt. I got very yeah. Oh, Baruch Hashem. Thank goodness. Um, so she's a Ben Frankel person. Do you know her? I'll give you more details. I don't. Um, Sarah probably does. But um, let, me, let me try the Mizzou angle. One second. Yeah, so just you text what you received to that person. Got it. By the way, we lost- Apparently it's her birthday. I got a text message that doesn't ruin it. That's not really cheating, but that's nice. Happy birthday, Emily Marks Fuller. Wait, so is she 32 or 33? Uh, Emily Cohen's birthday, I think. Oh, Emily oh, Cohen, Emily Cohen. Thank you. Earlier they said I turned 28 or 29. I actually turned 33. 
I appreciate knocking off a few years though. Mazalto. Happy birthday. Thanks. Um, all right. So um, while we're waiting for these connections to go, um, I this is so fun. I just want to thank uh, my friends Ari and Emily and my friends the Arnodes for helping. Hey. And Yay. What's up, Sarah? Sarah Beth? She's all coming on. I just sent her the link. I talked to her. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Uh, Emily's sister might be coming on soon. Yeah. Happy birthday, Emily's sister. Which she's one? Getting, she's getting ready. Abby. Abby. Look who it is! <laughs> I'm her. Hey. I feel really good about this. Thank you, friends and new friends. <laughs> oh, well done, SVB. Yeah. All right. Hi, Mark Fuller. Hi, nice to meet you. Are you an academic? I, I mean, no. I I went to Mizzou. Um, I You're teach elementary music. Oh, nice. Do you go to Shakespeare's a lot? Because I like the pizza there. I do. I also go to Pizza Tree in Columbia. Um, Amanda Rainey is uh, another charismatic person, and she um, and her husband own Pizza Tree. So oh, also cool. good. I like all pizza. I was only in Columbia for one meal, so Shakespeare's was a good choice. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Sarah Beth. Can you tell Emily how we got to her? Okay, so Emily came through Sarah Scherer Law Offices, who came through my friends, the Arnos. And I know the Arnos because we were at JTS together. Um, Ellie is a super connector, and I like felt really good to be able to call a super connector as a super connector. Um, and Ari came in, was my freshman buddy in USY, and then was my freshman buddy, uh, like self-proclaimed whatever, at UF. Um, when he was a freshman and I was a senior. Um, I've, I've loved the, like these people for a long time. So it's nice awesome. to see. Well, yeah. job well done. Emily, thank you so much for being our chosen one. You were, you were, we'll get to this when we bring our other contestants back. <laughs> but, uh, you were, I was pleasantly surprised how difficult you are because typically St. Louis is not that hard to find. There's three uh, Emily's on this call. That's fun too. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, we're gonna say thank you to thank uh, you. everybody for helping out. Emily, you can stick around. Ellie, you can stick around. We'll say goodbye to everybody yeah. else. Thank you. Happy birthday, Emily Cohen. Oh my God, there's so many Bye. Bye. <laughs> all right, go ahead. All right, uh, that was impressive. What was, uh, what was, what was a lot. the time in the end there? Well, 1427. 1427. Well it's done. Ellie Klein Goldman. Wasn't me. Did you she get was there? there? She was, was she was on the screen. She no, was that was on SBB. You didn't need me. Uh, I was like, I, I just want to like feel what it's like to call a super connector, especially because you're I don't know you that well. I, or at all. <laughs> I know I see you on I see you on Zoom all the time though now on Facebook. I'm like, that's my friend Ellie that I don't know. Ellie, you were my high school youth group advisor. How could you do this to me? I'm sorry. Wait, I want to know how you got how you found you. Yeah, so all right. So let's talk to Emily for a second. So yeah, hi. Emily. Hi. You there was a lot of comments, I feel like, during the show. Like you had a very like eclectic mix of things that are not typical to what we've seen from St. Louis. So you watched Adam, you watched Melissa. Were they getting close? Obviously, we know Melissa got very close at the end, but were there threads that they were pulling on that could have gotten to you? Yeah, they were, there were a lot of people. Um, like, I think Adam, I don't know if you had Carrie Hollander. Somebody had Carrie, and like Debbie Kaplan would have done it too. Um, and Cindy Levy, um, I know Cindy and her kids. Cindy. Um, and her husband was my doctor when I was little. I mean, like, and so, yeah, so I know a lot of, knew a lot of those people. Everybody was really close. I don't know I if that makes you feel any better whatsoever, Adam, or not. But it's got to make you feel a little bit better because Melissa didn't, she was, she was there. She was. Emily, why don't your friends know how to use Zoom? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, that. you know. <laughs> I'm worried <laughs> that they've been in a pandemic for this long without having to use this technology. They're going to get It was just on her tablet. She got on. <laughs> um, all right. Well, Adam, you had a, a wonderful run. I did. You were such a great competitor. Uh, I, I don't feel bad for you. I think if you had not gotten and then Melissa had done it in like six minutes, then I would have felt bad. But the fact that it, that Emily turned out to be very difficult, I feel like you acquitted yourself well. 
not just over the last several weeks, but certainly tonight as well. Um, Sarah Beth, you came through. Do you feel, do you feel uh, redemption? What are you feeling? Um, so I'm, I'm here for the love of the game. And actually this has been a good experience in humbling. I'm not known for like my humility levels. So like it's a humbling experience to know that I don't win all of the time um, because not everything is in my control. Um, but I would just like to point out that it was the JTS graduate who knew who Shabtai Tzvi was, who connected with a JTS graduate who connected with the person who got Emily. So like go burning bushes. That's not a thing. I just pretend it is. Um, and it, it, yeah, it was, it was really fun and exciting and I'm not usually this effective. So like, what a lovely showing. I feel good about it, but um, uh, and it's very well, nice to meet you, Emily. Well, job well done. Uh, Emily, as our, uh, as our chosen one, is there anything you would like to uh, say in, in closing tonight? Anything you want to plug before we say goodnight? No, I mean, it's, I'm very excited to represent the Midwest here today. <laughs> I love St. Louis. I'm a big Cubs fan. Uh, and actually, I thought Ellie might have been the key to getting to you because Ellie's Midwestern roots. Uh, I actually lived in St. Louis. I went to preschool at Temple Israel. There you go. Uh, all right, Adam, this is your swan song. So we'll go with you first. Anything you would like to say before we say goodnight? Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I really appreciate uh, having this opportunity. It's been fun to reconnect with old friends and play this game. Um, I'll plug what I plugged before, which is the most important thing we all need to do is vote. And today is my father's birthday. So I also want to give a shout out to my old man and wish him a happy birthday and many more. I wish you'd brought him onto the Zoom, but I understand. I... <laughs> uh, Melissa, anything you'd like to plug? Sure. I'd love to plug what's near and dear to my heart when I work on most of my day. Um, which is um, supporting the Religious Action Center, supporting the civic engagement campaign and the hard work of all of our colleagues there to um, fight voter suppression. And if you're in one of the states with a campaign organizer or here in Florida with us in our efforts, please join us. We're, we're doing bank, phone banking all the time and I'm really proud to be a part of our movement the reform movement and no HUC bashing just because I can't remember something from 10 years ago. That's no, I was just pro, T pro <laughs> JTSing. I wasn't bashing anyone else. I was talking about the comments if I had to guess. Oh. Uh, Sarah Beth, what about you? Anything else you want to plug before we say goodnight? Um, yeah. I I just want to take a moment to say that like, I'm really lucky that in the middle of a pandemic where like, people had COVID, I had COVID, people got laid off, I got laid off. I was able to start a new job yesterday um, at the Jewish Education Project as an education consultant, which is like really exciting. Um, and the opportunity to do the holy work of um, Jewish education and continuing to do that is very important to me. Um, so I just, I'm grateful to have that job um, and, uh, and grateful to be in pre a presence in the world where I get to help educate others. Nice. And Ellie, what about you? Anything you want to plug? Uh, what, yeah, all of the again, other uh, stuff. What's that? All of the other things that everybody said. All right. Great. Well, we want to say thank everybody you again. Go HUC. To... Vote. <laughs> yeah, HUC is a wonderful place. I agree. Thank you again to our contestants, Adam Rosenwasser, Sarah Beth Berman, Melissa Zalkin Stolman. Thank you, Emily Fuller. Thank you, Ellie Goldman. We're glad to have you here as well. We'll be back this Sunday night. Or this uh, We will be back Sunday night. We will also be back Saturday night uh, with a brand new episode. So join us at nine o'clock Eastern. Thanks to Hannah. Thanks to Leah. Thanks to Will. Hannah and Will, I'll see you in a few minutes with a bottle of wine. Uh, if you want to support, support the show, you Everybody can- Everybody wants to leave, Micah. Hurry up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll say goodnight. Go support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash who knows one. And remember, it's not who you know, it's who, who, who you, you know, know knows. knows. Good night, everybody. Lila Tope.